from his studio in Ennis, Montana, your host, David Lemon, is going to teach you how to create with clay and have fun doing it. So I might as well talk about the tools that I use. Um, I usually, when you buy a tool, you sometimes get it full length like this. And what I do is I always cut it in half because if you've ever tried to work under a horse, like the horse's belly, and you got a tool this long, can't do it. So I always <clears throat> cut my tool, my wire tools, in, in half. And this is uh, a glyptic wire tool, and it's got an interchangeable uh, wire end. I got? I got a caliper uh, for measuring, and this is one I uh, was given by a friend, artist friend of mine. So reference material-wise, I go on the web and uh, I do a Google search, uh, and then I flip the picture on the computer and print it with the other side of the, or facing the other way, only be, well, like this. Um, I've got it facing this way and facing that way, only because if you're working on that side of the horse's head, uh, you don't want to have to try to interpret uh, what you're seeing on this side of the horse's head. So, and then I go out in the horse, uh, out in the pasture, and I take pictures of horses, uh, if you find horses, uh, and they come up to the fence, uh, take pictures of their eyes and details of their face so that you can understand a little bit better uh, the structure of the eyes and the uh, and all that stuff. I, this is a handy little maquette that I got. Uh, it's made by Jeff Wolf. Uh, he sells them. Uh, it's really handy to have for understanding the shape of the muscles and all that stuff. Bones in the uh, shoulders and stuff like that rib cage. It's a real handy uh, little piece of uh, reference uh, material that uh, you can also use uh, to help you uh, understand a little bit better the uh, structure of the horse. He's gone into detail of the you know the bones and the leg and everything else. Alright I'm uh, working on the horse uh, just doing the back uh, bone the bones in the back leg and the hip area uh, just uh, showing uh, the construction of it, the measurements, uh, proportional measurements that you need to have. Uh, I'm getting the shapes in there so that when you put the muscles on, you've got the uh, bone structure underneath that uh, shows through the, uh, you know, protruding uh, in little bumps and areas like that for the uh, outside of the horse. Um, the shape of the, the hips, um, just blocked in, not... Uh, overly done. Um, then I'm going to fill in between here and there. But anyway, it's just establishing the structure of the horse right now. Now this will be my 10th uh, DVD, instructional DVD. I've got nine others uh, and the link to uh, seeing them is in the video description down below the video. Alright, uh, that's going to be it today and uh, I'll be back uh, next time with uh, more structure created. Uh, I'm going to work on the other side of the horse now and get the bone structure of that and then we'll work on the skull and then we'll start doing all the muscles, the backbone and, and all that stuff. All right, that's it for today from David Lemon's studio. All right, if you like my video, click the subscribe button and when you do, a little bell will pop up. You click that and then what you do is select Send me all notifications for this channel and then click save. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.